The question on everyone's mind was finally answered. The UAE's capital held its spot for the second consecutive year for the world's most expensive number plate. Before last night's auction, eight Abu Dhabi plates had held the world record for being the most expensive across the globe. Talal Khouri's famous maroon Rolls Royce holding the priciest. And he was upbeat before the bidding started last night. Uh, actually, I want to give it a chance for some people else because go for, for charity. Because till now, I, uh, I bought, uh, I think I put it uh, up to 80 million uh, dirham. But I think uh, I, be, I will be going from 15 to 20 million. About 300 people attended the auction and had mixed feelings of whether a world record would be set. But organizers were confident. In, th in this auction, there will be more money to be raised and uh, we will break not only the record of number one, we will break the record of the highest uh, uh, revenue generated of a number plate auction. From the minute the auction began, with hands in the air and competition on everyone's mind, it was obvious a lot of germs would be spent. But by mid-auction, a 10-year-old child had spent the most amount on a plate, prompting others many years his senior to follow suit. I buy 51 and I spend uh, 2 million and 150,000. Why do you buy these plates? Uh, to uh, put it on cars and, uh, and uh, business. Then came time for plate number one. Brought in with a big bang, with bidding starting at 10 million dirhams, jumping to 26, to 30, to 38, and then 50. And in a matter of minutes, and in the media frenzy, businessman Saeed Abdul Ghaffar Khouri, who coincidentally is the cousin of Talal Khouri, won the plate at 52,200,000 dirhams. I'm not checking to buy it or to sell it, but uh, I put it like the first one, like 100 million for the for uh, number one. Two world records were set today. License plate number one's price and also the most amount of money spent in a number plate auction, which in this case was 89 million dirhams, making seven Abu Dhabi plates the most expensive in the world. Hooray, Imam, City 7 News. The princess defines herself as a Muslim artist, sprung from the native Saudi culture and history. For her, light is one of the many manifestations of God, which he casts in our life to remind us of his omnipresence. Generally, I hope through my, uh, my work is like a prayer. Uh, people in the in traditional art used to do poetry, used to do uh, um, architecture, all this as to praise the divine, to praise God and Allah. In all her photographs, Her Royal Highness takes us to different parts of the world, one being China, a country widely known for its technological advancements. Princess Reem shows us the spiritual side. China has been the bed and the hub of a lot of uh, religious uh, and spiritual movements that spread all over Asia. And uh, the Muslims, specifically in China, have it's a very old relationship. In fact, the second mosque in Islam after Medina, and Medina was in China. The granddaughter of the Saudi King Faisal has taken all her photographs in this exhibition in black and white. She does this to force the viewer to disconnect with reality, which is in color, and look into the spirit of the place and the people in the photograph. My sister has a very eclectic approach and uh, she has the ability to see things that I myself uh, maybe will not see. So she manages to capture things that I don't actually see myself until I see it in her photographs. Prince Ahmed Al Faisal, who travels with her on most of her journeys, says it has not been an easy road for his sister emerging into this field. She has been very courageous, I have to say, and she has uh, had problems because of that. And uh, she has crossed boundaries, as you say, uh, being as a woman and being as a Saudi, both. Uh, in fact, in the Hajj, I think she is the first ever woman photographer to photograph the Hajj in its entirety. 
Princess Reem adds that the job of a photographer is a very difficult one, and for every male photographer, a woman must work three times as hard. Some of her photographs have required her to sit for hours waiting for the right shot. Proving her patience and persistence has paid off by making her one of the leading photographers in the Middle East. Huda Imam reporting. The closely guarded secret, the official height of Dubai's iconic tower flashed onto a giant screen before thousands, putting all speculations to rest. Keeping viewers on the edge of their seats and with a roar of applause, it was finally revealed that the tower is in fact 828 meters high. For the millions of people across the globe who had been touched by the city, it was a rare moment in history. A building that had risen before their eyes in only six years. In another surprise of the evening, the tower was officially named after the UAE president, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. It is now called the Burj Khalifa. Most of this week, we have seen a number of light shows beaming off of the tower. But tonight, for most of the evening, the tower was pitch black, gearing viewers up for what is said to be a magnificent show. Fireworks cascaded from the tower's spire to the base, and lasers blazed out from all levels, leaving the crowds awestruck. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, applauded the city's enormous achievement and said the UAE is a strong country thanks to its leadership, people, economy and infrastructure. He noted that the launch of the tower is proof that the UAE's economy is robust and the leadership of the country is capable of surmounting difficulties, adding, Let's see which of the world's economies will rise again and shake off the dust first. Let's just wait and see. Huda Imam, City 7 News. The Posh Paw Kennel on the Ajman Sharjah border hit capacity mid March. But now owner Laura Glanfield says she has had Dubai residents calling and pleading her for a space to board their pets. She has been forced to double occupy kennels in order to meet the demand. At the moment I've got uh, probably about eight long-term boarders. Um, some of them are boarding uh, two, three months to be confirmed until they can find somewhere else to live where they can have a dog or a cat. I've got others, I've got a little dog called Missy from JBR that they're now going to export the dog to the UK and they're all leaving because the dog is part of their family. So they're not prepared to live in this country without their dog. Meanwhile, directors from the UAE's only dog shelter says with the summer here, it's forced to house more than the regular amount of pets in each kennel. And this new situation doesn't help matters. These pets, you know, these dogs and cats, they're, you know, they're family. They're part of the family. And to be told out of the blue that now all of a sudden they can't keep these, these animals is just ludicrous. Where, where are these animals going to go? You've seen what it's like here. We haven't got space. Many residents didn't want to comment on this issue, saying that just maybe if they stayed quiet, the rule would be abandoned. While others say they're downright frustrated. When we signed the contract with JBR, there was no such rule. If they'd have told us from the beginning, we'd have understood. But we've been living here for one year and they tell us now. What are we supposed to do? Sell them or just make them disappear? We were horrified that we couldn't have a dog anymore. I mean, it was, it's actually one of the only things that links you to nature in, in a place like this where there's not as many trees. City 7 News contacted Dubai Properties and a spokesperson from the developer said, JBR rules do not allow for pets and they have received numerous complaints about the rule being flouted. The company says it has approached numerous animal care organizations to help find a solution.
Almost all the JBR pet owners I spoke to showed great dismay in the new rules set to be implemented as of July 1st. They said what it comes down to is if the pet goes, they go. Huda Imam, City 7 News.